Hey, what's up, guys? Um. Yeah, we're kind of back onto the topic, I guess. Um. Something in which. You know, everyone's gone through at least, you know, more than once in their lives, and some take it harder than others. For me, I've gone through so many of these that I lost count versus, say, with the opposite. And it does hang over your head sometimes. You know, like it's hopeless feeling there's no solution you get you get anxious you feel helpless and you start spiraling downwards you know it becomes your whole life becomes so negative it impacts everything. And, um, every aspect of your life, from, you know, from studying to work to relationships, it's, um, it's not fun. And, I mean, like I said before, this is not clickbait. This is not anything, it's just coming from my own personal experiences and what I've had to go through, what I'm still going through currently, what I'm battling, what I'm facing and dealing with at the moment with myself and external, um, external forces outside of my control and so on. It's just... topic that really hits people really hard is is what do you, what do you do when you when you fail because it just feels like you you did everything wrong I know for me, I struggle through that time and time again. It goes through so much. I go through so much and yeah, I get depressed. I feel so helpless and out of it. I things feel hopeless. Um. And at those times, you just think that, oh, you failed, you did whatever you did was all wrong, you failed, and nobody wants to come help you. Yeah, that's the worst feeling is you failed, but it's not because you, you did it intentionally on purpose at times. It's just you failed, you just couldn't. And then... When you try to seek for help sometimes, you just don't. You, that support you thought you had goes away, which then kind of sprawls down to your self-esteem. It lowers your self-esteem. With that, sometimes you go on to comparing yourself with others. It's like, yeah, I'm a failure compared to this person because they succeeded. They have all this, they, they're they able to do this, they're able to do this X, Y, Z, they're able to kind of afford this, they can do that, they do this. And you see yourself as being a failure, you can't do anything. Which comes to, you know, all the negative... All the negative talk, self-talk, thinking that, yeah, you can't, you're, you, you don't amount to anything. I know for a lot of you, it's, yeah, sometimes you fail at, you fail at a course, you 
fail at doing the job right. And you get criticized, you get... You get shunned on, you get... You get... Sometimes you just... Yeah, you get left alone. Get left alone. I guess for being a guy, you get left alone because, hey, you're supposed to be a guy. You're supposed to know how to deal with this shit. Right? Sometimes you don't. Like I said in my previous video, my happy and such, even at my age, I, I don't know everything. I can't know everything. There's no way I'll know everything in this lifetime. But I'm always going to be learning. I'm always going to be... Trying to do better, trying to learn, trying to improve on myself. And it's just myself that's willing to accept that, right? At times you kind of feel like, oh, maybe, you know what? How come that person doesn't accept what I've done? <laughs> move forward people and people that don't see that they go see oh you just see the you know how it is like they see all the bad things they only see the bad things they never see the good things in people at all you see the bad it's like oh you know what they did this you know what that's them they're always gonna be like that i failed i fucked up so much I've learned I've learned what not to do learn from my mistakes so how to be a better person how to be a better son be a better brother be a better you know boyfriend be a better co-worker at times sometimes that's not, not that's not enough and you'll never make people think otherwise. They'll always be stuck in thinking that person's never going to change. But that shouldn't dictate how you have to move forward in your life, I guess me and that's what kind of kept me back is I let other people dictate I let others dictate what my life would be like but that was wrong I can't let others dictate my life just like I can't let others dictate how I feel. Because they don't know how I feel. No one will know how I actually feel. No one will, I won't know how you actually feel as well. There's no way I'll be able to understand how you actually feel at that very moment. I can take the concepts and my own experiences and draw from that but I'll never be able to. Understand. So. Basically when you fail. You have to accept that. Yeah, you failed. Accept the feelings and emotions. And. Those emotions are, you know, anxiety, of course, you're going to be sad, you're going to be upset, you're going to be depressed. You're going to feel a plethora of emotions that's going to happen, so we just have to accept it and, and, and know that, yeah, okay, I failed, right? And... 
We just can't let that be. You can't let that hang over your head all the time. It's not gonna. It's only for a short moment. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be long term. Failure isn't. Failure doesn't mean that your life is over. Failure just means you made a mistake. How do I fix that and become better from that? Yeah, maybe it might take the same failure multiple times before you actually understand it. That's what some people might have to go through. They go through the same things. They do the same mistake over and over again. And through a pedal process, yeah, they'll learn. And some might not. Okay. For yourself, it could be the same thing. Who knows, right? But it doesn't mean your life is over. Accept those feelings. Move on with your life in some ways that, hey, it's one thing. Unless the failure itself is is life-threatening, then that's a different story, right? That's something that's totally outside of this um, kind of topic where, yeah, that's a different type of failure. However, if it's a task of some sorts or or something in which you acted upon that isn't life-threatening of, of anything, then your life is no sort. It's just a mistake, something that just didn't go your way. And it's not the end of the world. What you can do is learn from that failure and be constructive, like I said. For me, I failed a couple times. Failed, you know, in my courses. Failed, um, you know, in my family life. You know, like I wasn't, I wasn't the perfect son. Failed at relationships. But I learned. I would be better from that. Take those. Sometimes some of them took more time than others. Sure. But I've learned how to, I've started to learn how to learn from those failures and, and be constructive and be better. And I guess that's like, you know, taking that, learning it from a lesson, the lesson learned. I mean, you learn so much more from failing than you are from succeeding. I can count so many times that I failed, and then after those failures, I was able to achieve and succeed this one thing. But yeah, everybody fails. It's just how you take that failure into your life and learn from it, become better as a person, as a better person for your family, um, as becoming a better employee for your whatever your or better you know leader or a better partner for in, where, in your relationship with your girlfriend or boyfriend and such but from those failures look for those inspirations that teach you a lesson yeah maybe those lessons are harsh and you know what Everybody fails. Anybody that says otherwise that they, they never fail, it's a fucking liar. Everybody fails. Even the most richest person, most powerful people in the planet fail. Fuck. I'm sure even like the priests and such have failed somehow. Okay. But it's just how you learn from it. Get out of that feeling of hopelessness, of depression, of negative self-talk. And that's what I kind of got through. I I went through the negative self-talk of myself that I was never good enough to achieve anything in that aspect. And I let that negative talk 
become an external where the image of that sticks. So... Fail. But fail with dignity. And come back knowing that you've learned something new from it. And that you'll do better as a person for others and for yourself. I for the hell have gone through shit and yeah it wasn't pretty it wasn't pretty so failure isn't in the other world it's just it's just a lesson you can always get back and learn from that lesson So I go, failure is better than being successful. Because you'll learn a lot more from failure than you are... than you are able to succeed. So go out there, learn more, fail, fail all over, become better. I know I'm trying to still. Oh. So. 